All right, super quick, and this one's completely inside baseball. This one's gonna be for the paint department. What's up, John G? Uh, I requested some uh, guidance on where to put text coat on the trim pieces for the for the uh, Riverside Fairground sign. So this is kind of how it's gonna to go together. I'm sending this over as a PDF, but what I'm doing is just gonna explain the PDF. So that way you'll have it, but also a quick little explainer. So you have three trim pieces per side. You have the really long vertical, You've got the the uh, only 12 inches wide top one, and then the bottom one is the sort of chubbier 18 and a quarter. So obviously you get text coat, which is yellow here on the PDF right here. So that's on the face, obviously. And then you'll have it on the inside all the way around where these flange things are. So that's kind of the limiting point, like where those flange things are. So whatever you're doing with that, cool, because you've already done the big boy over here. The long, the long, big vertical. So whatever you did to that, that's what you're doing there. So let's just start with the top. So the top, the face will wrap around to the top. And um, of course the top's 30 feet in the air. So if you talk to homie over here, he's not gonna be able, unless he gets his drone out or whatever, he's not gonna see the top. So, but we're best signs, we do a good job. So we'll put the text code on the top. So the whole idea behind the top one and the side vert is that there's only, <clears throat> excuse me, there's only about a quarter of an inch overlap. So you can see where here's the side of the trim box and then here's the crown up here. So this little bit of overlap right there is only 0.2. So quarter of an inch is all you need. Um, that way, because otherwise, I mean, I had originally started going with these boxes being the full width, but that's just a waste of, you know, so that's why we have just these little brackets back here. So I put it thin to win it only takes a quarter to make it look like it's one big piece jutting out. So that being said, along the top from the back side where the brackets are, you only need a quarter inch minimum clearance. Now, if you, so if you want to push it out to maybe three eighths or, you know, five sixteenths, you know, just thread that needle. But technically a quarter inch in is all you need. So that's along the top. The sides, because they butt up against the big boy that already went out, and this side bonks against this side, you've got no text coat on the ends and no, no text coat on this end. So it's the face, the inside part there, like you said with the flange, the top if you wanna wrap it around, but nobody's gonna see it. And then um, you just have that quarter inch strip. So taking that quarter inch strip and continuing on to the vert side, when it bonks, it's gonna basically mimic the top across its top. So you keep that quarter inch strip party going if you want to along basically the top, the very little top section of the big boy. So do that, come along here, good to go. But you have no text coat. So essentially where this flange starts and, or well, it stops basically, but it, where the 45 starts, that's all no text. Um, straight across. So that way when it bonks into this cabinet, that's 12 inches it bonks in there. So you want no text coat there, completely clean. Um, text on the top, except for that mimicking that quarter inch strip that's on the top of this guy. Then it turns the corner and you're gonna go down the whole long side of it. That technically is really the only thing that's visible. And when this bad boy tucks into, it's gonna, again, it's gonna do that bonk all the way down. It's only, you know, 0.2, it's a quarter of an inch overlap, that's all it takes. So you're just gonna follow that strip all the way along the long side, all the way down and quarter inch strip all the way. So you got text code on the side, text code on the face, and then text code with your flanges, whatever you're doing. When you get to the bottom, no text coat needed on the very bottom because it's going up against the rock. And then same thing, the 18 and a quarter bigger boy is gonna bonk. So you have a mating surface there. So just cut that straight across and bonk up against there. And then once we turn that corner, but otherwise that's done. So everything there, you're good to go. So, um, and then you turn the corner, the bottom guy's really easy because the whole bottom goes against the stone along the here. So we're good. And we have full bonk here. So you don't want text code on the edge. And then this guy here bonks against the big boy that already went out. So no text code there. So it's just the face and then it wraps over and does what you're doing on the top there. So that's pretty much it for those guys. Um, again, it's really just the only tricky quote unquote is that quarter inch 
pinstripe, you're just gonna do all the way down. Again, whether it's three eighths or you want a five sixteenths, you wanna thread the needle, but it's essentially a quarter minimum is all we need all the way along that edge. Otherwise, no text, no text, and no text on the sides. So anyway, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll send over the PDF, good to go.